All right, we're back. I have to give you a disclaimer. I actually recorded a video about this earlier. Went to go do a photo shoot, did a rookie thing. Went to go format my memory card before I did the new shoot. I wiped out all my old videos. So, take two. We're back again. Did a video already on I like Camp Stove 2 Plus. Hi, Atlas. Hi, baby. Uh, really good stove. Ooh. So yeah, I did the Camp Stove 2 Plus. With it came the grill top. Um, pretty easy to use. I've used it a couple times already and I love it. Not much to say about it other than it just works. We'll get some pellets. Actually, I gotta grab pellets. I just realized I didn't grab those. I got my pellets. I promise you they are not planters peanuts. <laughs> They're just, uh, just using the bottle. I'll take the wrapping off eventually. We got the grill top. We got a cover here. BioLite claims you can use it as a plate. I like to clean the pan. Don't know as though I would. Everything here, only thing I've noticed is here. See some stress cracks. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know how long it's gonna be before you lose this. Do I really care? No. I'll use it as a plate. I don't know. But here's the grill top. This will fit on top of the Camp Stove 2 Plus, which we'll get to in a minute. It comes in three basic pieces. Grill portion. Make sure you got the honeycomb part. And then the bowl that rests on top of the stove. Now, so far, like I said, I've used it a couple times already. Did try to make a pretty good attempt at cleaning it from all the soot and everything. I will probably say this is about the best that I got. I don't know if you can see how black that is still. To be expected. This also has a little cap. You'll see it here in a minute, but when you put this on, the whole assembly on top, this is where you continue, continue to feed the stove. We'll put all this back together. Little stuff on. When you're ready, they're just kind of spring-loaded. They hold themselves in. The next one, pop that out, and you're ready to go. Now, this, as far as I can tell, does not lock in. Rests on the bio, light, camp stove, just like that. Pretty sturdy. So between these two legs right here, well over a foot. I mean, it's pretty wide, to be honest. Just be aware that when you use this, you have food on top and you're grilling and doing your thing, that you might kick the leg out, and then this whole thing goes. Hopefully it doesn't catch your camp stove. Falls over too with your hot ash cold and everything. Be careful around fire. Take this off, those in. As you see, pretty easy. Put that on our plate. We're gonna do up some burgers. I am gonna cheat. I'm gonna use some gel. Don't care, judge. Come in. And that'll be that. So these are hickory smoked. I know I don't have the bag, but these are hickory smoked pellets. I think I went to Walmart and I got 20 pound bag for eight bucks. It's not bad really. This pellet stuff does not use that much, but it'll work. So I've got pellets a little over halfway. Not much going on there. With the gel, just light it. Now one thing you'll notice is right here, it's not on. And what I've learned, and I can't remember if I covered it in the last video, when it's off and you just start a fire, when your TEG, your ther thermoelectric generator, when it gets enough heat energy, when it senses enough, it automatically turns this on. So I'm gonna let this go, we'll see if that magically happens or not. Tasty beverage. There is a good fire already on it, I don't know if you can see that. A little fire going. So it's still not on, I'm still waiting. The gels are sizzling. I think BioLite makes, but not a cutlery set. They make like a cookware set. I've got enough, I don't need it from BioLite. Boom, there you go. Don't handle fire, but I'll hold it up. See, turned on automatically. I know before in the first video, someone asked me if this was a top down burn. I am not an expert when it comes to stoves or from what I researched. Yes, it is a top down burn stove, I believe. It's similar to like the solo stoves and the secondary chamber burn stoves and all that. This one doesn't have any ventilation around the bottom, like a traditional wood stove. Like in bushcrafting and whatnot, where your airflow would come in on the bottom and then cycle up through your wood. How this works is you put all your fuel down in there, pellets, wood, whatever. There are ventilation holes at the very bottom. There are also ventilation holes at the top. What happens is your fuel burns from the top down then the fan pushes air in like a cyclone way throughout this chamber, like an air chamber between this outer part and the inner part. There's actually space. This fan pushes air through those two spaces and then it comes out those combustion holes. When it comes out the top, that's what burns off the smoke. Last video, if there is no flame, 
this thing smolders. You get a really awesome burn just from that secondary combustion. Okay, back. Got a whole jug of more pellets, just in case we need it. So we've already got a lot of heat right now. We're at two on the little flame energy. I think we're good to put this on. Pop that out, pop that out. Hopefully my dog doesn't jump on the table again. Shut that down. Make sure it's all spread out. Bada boom, bada boom. As you can see it, there's your fire. That's how you feed it. So let's just warm up a little bit, burn off anything that's on there, and we'll cook some burgers. And one thing I do like about this, not everybody takes a liking to it. And I get that. Holy lord. Everybody's different. What I like about it is how versatile it is, I guess. I do have another BioLite fire pit. Or sorry, it is the BioLite fire pit. And that thing's awesome. Scored a <laughs> hellacious deal on it. Based on the long story short in the neighborhood I lived in. I don't know if you've ever heard like curb alerts. You know, people will post in like Facebook like, Hey, I'm getting ready to put some free stuff out on the curb. And then you run by and go get it. Well, I was at work. Noticed someone posted like a free curb alert. And I had some like lawn chairs, I think like an umbrella. And then I saw this black looking grill with an orange fire or a um, battery pack on it. And I'm like, oh, I think I know what that is. I Googled it just to make sure I was seeing what I was seeing and it was the BioLite fire pit. So I like hurried up, packed all my stuff, left. It was like not even a three minute drive to the, the neighborhood I live in. Still there. So I picked it up, put it in my garage or my car later on the night. It was already pretty clean. It looked brand new, uh, but it was a BioLite fire pit. Um, and it's like a $300 fire pit that I got for free. So got my blessings on that one. But I absolutely love that thing. The kids love it. Pretty smokeless for the most part. BioLite's done it again with the Camp Stove 2 Plus. So really digging their stuff so far. I don't buy off on all their, their jazz that's in there, like the uh, the lights and gosh, they got other stuff. But they got a bunch of stuff in there, but a lot of that stuff I've already got. It was really the unique products that probably brought them up to begin with, which was the Camp Stove 2 Plus and the Fire Pit. Those I really dig. I'm gonna attempt to cook some burgers show you how well this does. I don't know if you can hear. That's fan one, fan speed one. It's not really loud. Well, I got three bars on the heat. Okay, that's one. Well, this one will go to two. That's two. And then three. There's quite a bit of fire coming out. <laughs> yeah, she's rocking. And then four. And that thing is, it's roasting. I'll bring it back down to one. I'll probably kick it up to two when I start cooking, but should be what I would say preheated. Put that there. Oh yeah. So I don't know if you can see when I got the two burgers on. That's about all you're gonna get. There's top view. It's really about all you're gonna get. I've got two burgers about the size of my palm. They're not big. I don't think this thing is meant to feed a family. I say for me. Maybe my kid, if he goes out with me here and there, it's going to work for me. And I got other cook stoves and propane ran stoves and all that jazz. I think it'll work just fine. Kick this up. And then the way this works is your flame, which comes out. Skadoosh. Oh, I can get it. Your flame comes out right there, right? And it comes up this bowl right here. I'm using a fork because it's all really hot. Remember the three pieces that I showed you? You have the bowl, the grill top, and then that honeycomb piece. Flame comes up, hits this, and then it actually fans the flames out the surface of this bowl, and that's how it grills. Pretty cool if you ask me. I have my dog chewing on a limb. So we're on fan two, we're up to four bars on the heat energy. So we're up to four bars, heat energy, and I've got two on the fan, and then full, because this thing has been pretty much charging this entire time. The burgers, you can kind of see the flame over here. Otherwise, if I kick this up, the flame comes out the top. Pretty hot fire on it. So I say with this, you'll just have to monitor your fuel. In my case, the pellets, just to make sure it does all right. The other thing too, sometimes you'll get a better flame, if that makes sense, with pellets than wood. The wood tends to be kind of just however you place it in there. Now, pellets burn a little more evenly on top. And that smoke, my juice, is coming from the meat cooking a little more evenly. Flames won't always hit evenly across the top, so you'll really have to pay attention with this. And like anything, you will get flare-ups, to be expected. And if you get too much flare-up, I'll just bring the fan back down to one. That should help a little bit. 
I've, I've got a solid burn. It's looking all right. It's looking good. Yeah, we'll cook these two. I won't run you through the whole five, six burgers or whatever that's in there, but the kettle too. Uh, I think I'll just keep it easy, simple. Probably do another video on the kettle. That might be a short one because that's pretty cool in itself. Be like a cook time on it, boil time. I can't remember if I did it in the other video. I think it might have been the ones that I recorded already and then dumped. It is what it is. It did have five bars on this, but I turned it back down to one and it's back down to four bars of the heat energy, which is fine. I don't want to like slam these things with flame. I'll tell you too, one thing that I probably won't do, I was just thinking about uh, the fact that I don't have it is like seasoning and stuff. Going down and clogging up this honeycomb part and it gets burnt on and crusted up and I don't know. I'll, I'll have to experiment and learn how this thing works, but I don't want to introduce any other ingredients that will clog this thing. Okay, we're back. Man, those are looking good. They smell good too. I got my meat thermometer. Don't hold. I'll just stab it. And about 100 degrees. 100. Make sure we don't. Oof. Holy lord. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. So the status update, still four bars on the heat, one on the fan, full on the um, battery pack. What am I drinking? Drop in the comments what you think I'm drinking. May or may not tell you. <laughs> There's just some extra charcoal on here that I'm cleaning off. This tastes pretty sweet, man. I like it. Definitely see taking out car camping, just have something cool and different. Something with fire. That's how I got a lot of propane stoves that I use. One of them's the um, Jet Boil Genesis, I believe. Yes, I know. But it is absolutely amazing and I love it. Um, zero issues and zero complaints about any of it. I love it. I did a camp with a camper, gosh, August. Um, used it out there on the side of the camper. Like the camper has one that you put on the track. You know, just not as cool, I guess. I just haven't used it used my jet boil and it's dude that thing is amazing i love everything about it so i've got another <clears throat> burger up top there but it's one thing i will say to this and i've used like the traditional propane grills i've used charcoal grills i've, I've used them you do get a lot of flare-up the thing i do like about this is you get flare-up like that i don't know why or how but it's actually really quick at just disappearing so it's a very short-lived flare-up, and it's actually kind of nice with some of the texture on your hamburger. See, that one's one of the longer ones, but I mean, it's kind of cool. It goes away really quick. Okay, but uh, yeah, so like I was talking about earlier, when you cook, um, be cognizant of your fuel. So like right now, I just had a really good flame going, but I added mm, about two handfuls of pellets. So I've still got a good flame. Um, it just it did knock the flame down a little bit, and I'm down to three bars of heat. So just be aware, I'll kick this back down. Now that that's down, my flames will go back and then my heat bars will probably go up. Holy Lord. <laughs> I went to go get my son some uh, lights. He's, um, he's doing some YouTube stuff too. But uh, I went to go get him some lights for his little setup. He got a mic today. I was like, oh, these will be fine. Came back and it was like just a gigantic film of flame over them. But it's crazy I got that much flame because I only got one fan. Holy Lord. Okay, I don't know why it's that crazy. So I'll put another burger on. Hopefully this mic sounds good. I got uh, this guy right here. I don't know if you've heard of a company called Ulanzi. They actually make the tripod that my camera is sitting on right now. But the tripod's awesome. It's carbon fiber. It's travel sized. It is a four section, I think, or a five section. Um, but it was supposed to be like a, however you want to word it, copy, knockoff, similar to Peak Designs. This one was significantly cheaper, the tripod. Super high quality, I love it. It's like the craziest tripod. And I've had a lot of Vanguard tripods and Manfrotto's and all them. This one's actually pretty solid. It's not as functional as the other ones, but uh, if I go hiking here in Wyoming or whatever, like for sure this will be the one that comes with me. Anyway, Lonzi, they're the company that makes tripod and they make apparently some microphones. I was wanting some microphones because I up my game on my YouTube channel and provide better content and do better, right? These were $75. 
No. Before you say anything, um, it was $75 for, I think it was a Black Friday sale. And it comes in a little case, and probably do a video on them later. But uh, it comes in a little case, just like the DJI and all those. It has two of the mics and the receiver that fits on top of my camera. I believe it has internal recording. I don't remember if it has noise cancellation, which I'm not too worried. It does come with the dead cat. Um, but, I mean, come on, for 75 bucks, you can't beat that, and you're just starting. So you gotta start somewhere, right? And so far, they sound good, in my opinion. I'm not, like, professional by any means. I'll get there one day, but, you know, for right now, this is a hobby. Maybe get to a point where it starts to pay for some stuff. Yeah, till then, these work. They're amazing. I like them. Don't hate. Um, and if you know anything about mics, drop a comment. Or if you even have the, I think they're AM18s, the Lonzi AM18s, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of them. I'm really interested, interested to hear what everybody thinks about them. Because so far, dude, I, I, I don't know. They're like just as good as the other microphones. With a little head, headphone jack um, if you want to run like a lavalier mic. So you want to clip this on your belt around a mic, small mic. It's got a mute button. Oh, that's the other thing on the receiver. It's got a dedicated mute button, a hard button. Everything's touch screen, very simplified. It's got gain controls and I can plug in my, my headphones, but it's got a dedicated mute. So if I have both microphones running, each microphone has a dedicated mute button. <laughs> like, super cool. I was thinking about going with just a single mic and receiver. And what I was finding is on a lot of YouTube channels, especially hiking, um, there's a lot that will use both mics because they will place one, you know, maybe on them. Um, kind of like the ASMR, they won't necessarily talk when they're hiking, but then they'll place a mic somewhere closer to their footsteps. So you're getting a mix of like more wholesome sound as they walk. You can hear the footsteps clearly. You can hear their pants swishing, their backpack rocking. Like it's more of an immersive video. When I saw that, I'm like, okay, I'll get the two, especially for 75 bucks. <laughs> Ooh, I got four bars now on the heat. That's some serious heat. But yeah, please, by all means, if you got if you got these microphones, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of them. Or drop a comment and let me know what your favorite microphones are. I'd be interested to see. Give a little temp check. Right. 116. So, almost there. I was sitting here jibber-jabbering and wasn't paying attention to my, my fuel. But uh, all I did was add some more fuel. Dumped in some more of that um, fire starter gel and then lit it up and it reignited. Easy peasy. Now I've noticed too with this, when I used wood uh, back there in my yard, when the flame would go out, man, this thing was just like a massive smoke bomb. But when the flame went out with the pellets, like with these pellets in particular, like it wasn't that bad. Matter of fact, I don't think there was any smoke to be honest. Yeah, these things are killer, dude. They're like hickory flavored. That's a flame back, that'll go. Oh man, I forgot what I was talking about now. Yeah, so Vita Vu is like 30 minutes from us. I really want to do some winter camping. Just want to make sure I got the stuff to do it. Because when you're out there, you're out there. It's it's super cool. There was a Facebook group I was on. Someone was posting pictures. It's like a photography group that I'm on. But somebody was posting pictures about, um, God, last year, I caught my eye because they went out to Vita Vu and they snapped some nighttime shots and they were like absolutely insane and I loved them uh, but the person said they hiked in camped I think and took some nighttime shots and one thing that's cool about Wyoming is the land is remote there's not a lot of cities here Cheyenne is the capital obviously and it's not very big so once you get a 30 minutes away from Cheyenne there's not a lot of light pollution the crazy part is when you get to Vita Woo, I've seen some shots from there. You can see light pollution from Denver. And Denver is, give or take, two, two and a half hours from Cheyenne. Not even Vita Vu. So the fact that you can see the light from there, super crazy. And you see it's getting dark. Started the video kind of late, but it's kind of cool. I like being outside. We're back in business. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. The grill top. Is awesome. Showed you how the legs work. Showed you how to install it. Showed you all three different pieces. The plate. I like it. Super cool. It works. Grilled three, four, six burgers on it. These are the last two. So I think it's a win. I think it works. It does what I need. Uh, and that's it. Really, at the end of the day, it doesn't need to be spectacular. It doesn't need to be crazy. It just needs to work. 
um, and it did. So do I need to fiddle with it a little bit? Yeah. Do I need to pay attention to the fuel? Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, it works. I like it. The biggest thing to remember is let it cool down before you handle it, and then it's only three pieces that you really have to clean. And that's really not that bad. Um, and every single thing comes out. It's not like a crevice that you can't get to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like it. Please like, subscribe, comment, help me out with the channel. Everything you do, I appreciate it. I take a lot of time to make these videos and I don't get a lot of time with work and everything. The last couple of weeks have been like super stressful and crazy. I am in the military, active duty. It's been absolutely insane the last couple of weeks. So it's kind of nice just to come out here and just do something brainless and <laughs> make a video and cook some in burgers. Please enjoy the content. I'll try to get more videos out. Um, I got the initial video of the camp stove. I got one with the grill and the next one will be the kettle pot. So look forward to that. Look forward to your comments. Look forward to uh, replying to all of those. And I look forward to the time that you guys, you know, invest into my, my YouTube channel. So appreciate you all and uh, be safe. Take care.